Hey guys, welcome back. This is Naresh. So in this video, we will see one of the new features which was introduced in Selenium 4. That is to get a size and location of an element and also to get a position of the element with a simple one single method. So this was possible in Selenium 3 also, but there were two different methods to achieve the same. But before we go ahead, we just want to understand that uh, why uh, we need those kinds of methods which can get me a size of an element or which can get me location of an element. See, there are different use cases on your project uh, in which you have to use this. So I can give you two examples. One can be maybe you want to check the size of an element or uh, the position of the element when you do certain steps. This is one use case. And the second can be, it might happen sometime when uh, you are working on some projects, especially when you are working on the Salesforce, there are few elements on which you are not able to perform some operation like click or something else. In those kinds of scenario, sometimes we make the use of JavaScript and we try to control that. But even I have seen that uh, some of the application on which the JavaScript also doesn't work, even the action class doesn't also work. Okay, so in those kinds of situations, this is also one of the way through which we can click on those elements. We just click on that particular position or we can just see the size and we take out the center of that and according to that we click on that. So this is another use case, but there can be many other use cases in which you have to use this size and location. Okay, so I will not go in that detail of the use cases, but I will show you how to use it. And before I have to show you for Selenium 4. Let's see, uh, on Selenium 3, how did we do it, okay? So this is one of the class which I have created earlier for Selenium 3. And uh, I can just show you what exactly this code is doing. So these two lines of code is to initialize my driver and to download the Chrome driver. Then I have opened the website by using driver.get. And then I have just find an element and store it into one web element. And after that, I have to do element.getSize, okay? So this will get me the size of my element, but I need to store that into the variable size, which is of type dimensions, okay? And then I need to do size.getHeight, that's mean dimension.getHeight, and I will get a height, and I will get a width, okay? So this was one method, getSize. But now there's another method, which is getLocation, okay? When I do element.getLocation, it gives me a element or it gives me a variable which is of type point. Okay, so I have to store that into the point variable. And uh, in this, I can just call the variable location.getx. So that is the so point is a class and for that getx is a method. So I'm just calling that location.getx and I will get an x coordinate and y coordinate. So to get the height and width, if you see there are two different methods get size and get location but in selenium 4 we can do that with a single uh, with a single uh, method okay so let's do okay so this is a blank class which i have used so for that what we will do we'll just say public static void main string argument okay all right so this is a blank class so what is the issue here okay sorry it's already written sorry so let me just remove. okay so now we will do the same thing so we will call the web driver manager so web driver manager dot chrome driver dot setup okay now the driver driver equal to new chrome driver okay so this will initialize my variable okay so i need to import that let me put it here alt enter what is wrong the driver okay i need to keep the d capital Okay, let me correct it. Okay, so this will initialize my driver, and now I can just open the website driver.get. And this time I am opening 
so I have a website this one open source demo orange hrm live so I will copy this so this is just a demo website so I can refresh it okay all right okay so this will open the website for me and then I will find an element on this website find element and I need to see which element let's assume that this is the button for which I need the size so Second, login, inspect. Okay, so it's input type equal to submit, name equal to submit, class button ID equal to btn login. Okay, let me use that then. So it will be my dot ID, and here it would be btn login. Okay, and I will store that into some web element. Okay, let me import this too. Okay, so it has been stored. Now, if you see that what I have done before, before in Selenium 3, I have called element.get size, and after that, I have called element.get location. But now I will do, I will call one new method which is element dot get rectangle or get rect okay and uh, you can just store it into some uh, variable let me call this variable as dimension okay dimensions okay it will tell you that you have to create a local variable for that if you move your mouse pointer just click on that so you see that there is a rectangle class and for that there is an object created okay so now I can use this dimensions to print everything what I was printing before. So it would be system dot out dot print ln, and here I can just call it as uh, dimensions dot dot get x. Okay, so I am calling get x here, and then system dot out dot print ln and then dimensions dot get y okay and above that I can just call other things also system dot out dot print ln and then dimensions dot get uh, it would be get width and system as should be capital system dot out dot print ln dimensions dot it's get height okay see and after that I can just call driver dot quit okay so you will see that now I have directly called these dimensions and I am calling width, height, x and y and I get this dimension when I am calling element.get rectangle. So this is a bit different from the one which we have used before which is element.get size and element.get location. Okay, so let's run this. Okay. So it's running. Okay. Okay, using the Chrome driver, open the browser, connection made, website open, and it has given us the dimensions. Okay, so it has given width as 94, height as 26, and get x, the position is 466 and 460. Okay, so the x position, let me just open this uh, orange HRM again. HRM demo okay so what it is it's giving you it's giving you the 
x in y position besides that width and height so x is something which you can you can see my mouse pointer i am moving it to the right so from my, my left sorry my left and then it move here so this is x and what is y from top you can see the mouse pointer from top to here it is y okay so x and y position of this button and also the size of the button now you can use this for any of your uh, use cases as i told you before you can use it to click on it or you can use it if you want to really check the size and you really want to check the location of some particular element okay so i think that's it for today so i hope uh, this would be beneficial for you and also one more thing so this was something which was introduced in selenium 4 but i think this has also been patched back to the selenium 3 okay all right so thank you for watching this video have a great day